Alright, this is the third time. This is how you know we're being censored. Like hardcore censored. Hardcore. Because if you can't report, if you can't make a video without your fucking thing just cutting off, like this little motherfucker just did, and it's when I say the names, it cuts right off. It says, I'm out of here. See, this story, this is Megan Walsh. She's telling the story about her dad. Now, we've been looking at recently a lot of different of these monsters. I'll just use that. Let's keep it running. I'll use the different terms. If that's what I have to do to get it through, then that's what I have to do. But that's bullshit. The app just turns the fuck off. Come on. That's fucking bullshit. Most of the times, when it does it, it goes behind one of these screens where you can't see it. You can see it over here. It's got a minute and 13 seconds. And you don't even know. So by the time you got done with your video, then it's already cut you off and fucked you over. So everything you said, you've lost. Now it's got it. Because it's stealing from you. Be advised. So we're taking a look here. Now this all occurs in Hollywood. And I'll shut this motherfucker off and make two sections. See? Section two. Now fuck that thing. Wants to erase my shit and steal it. I'll fucking work around it. You know, and I've had like three or four of these and they do all do the same. They all do the same thing. But I wanted to share this lady's story. i show you where she's at. Which I didn't know that existed. Air and hanging her off of a br something crazy. You know, when you're young, you're like, oh, wow, that's <laughs> horrific. Um, and so, Jane, my point in saying this is that Jane was really, uh, you know, black sheep in the family. You know, there's this theme with John Monahan and the wives. And, you know, this is something I started speaking up to my dad about. Already in the intro, she's already said. That there was a group of guys that was the killer of her brother. That they didn't, it didn't sound like they did it. But these guys would take the fall for these CIA hits. And they would get their prison terms. And then suddenly the governors would um, let them loose. You know, they would be um, granted reprieve or whatever you call that. And there'd be no explanation. They had a group of them that was killers or the fall guys for the killers because once they got sentenced to the crime, they would be put up in the prisons and probably live real nice. And that's an actual thing. And he said one of them, and I guess they're known, I don't, you know, she goes into the names. This is already the first five minutes and it's satanic ritual abuse going on. And a lie, a cover-up, and uh, more implications of the laws. Because there's, there's an Adam Walsh Act. Which I don't know all the details to it, but we're finding out right now. Maybe I should cut this section loose too. I better. Let me pause this and interrupt it for, for the purpose of there being the rest of the video. You gotta cut it up, or the you, if you don't break it in segments, you won't have nothing. It'll just steal it the first time you say Adam Walsh. Alright. This, this is great. You have to actually create your video on, on the stage while you're learning what it is you're reporting on to get this these actual news stories out. And by whatever chance it was... Too is this generation very Masonic? And Get theory, out of here. Theory, if you uh, follow a during protocol, um, uh, these men going out 
you know, again, I do all this for the community, or I, I'm the executive of this and that, and uh, and really, you know, behind the scenes, they're doing whatever they want, which we're finding out very scary things about what went on. But these women, the point is, is left at home and with children. And it's like, oh, you got the mansion, you got the credit cards, you have the kids. Like, what's wrong with you? Why aren't you just happy? And these women, you know, are like, well, you're cheating on me, or you're never home, or, you know, really tortured from a love sense and a heart space. Uh, and so they do turn to drinking. We know domestic um, abuse and, and really it's this narcissistic abuse that occurs. Um, and then, you know, once the woman starts speaking up and isn't okay with it or files for divorce or outs the man, you know, he says, oh, she's crazy. Look at her. She has alcohol problems or she's had to start taking this medication. That's real. Uh, that. And, you know, we need to take care of the family. We need to take care of her and the children. And, you know, it's this chest grabbing. We've done everything we can. We don't know what else to do. And and it's really abusive. And, and it makes people, you know, women crazy and and many of them have like we see with monahan's wife um you know gone to their demise through that so you know maybe that's another topic for another uh, episode uh, but you know it is a very prevalent one and especially in in the situation that i'm in now and what's happening in today's world with women and you know has absolutely narcissistic abuse megan didn't you say that you sat like you like stan gets now see and that does happen you know, I came from a narcissistic mother, hardcore narcissist. She did. I thought she had Asperger's. My mom, if you told her anything about any of your business, any of your emotions, anything you felt, there's not one fucking time that woman did not just load that like bullets into a gun and shoot it back at my fucking face. You know, I had a fucking now my mom. With some sort of bear of a mom. And I'll give her that. And she kept me alive. But good lord. That woman was an emotional fucking tyrant. She was a monster. And for some of my early adulthood. I had that imprinted upon me. But I've done a lot of fucking work. To chip that away. Because that's a side effect too. Of narcissism. You don't have to be rich. People that aren't. It's not all just rich people that are narcissists. It's it's a fucking frame of mind and it's a mental disease. Now my mom, she found out when she was 19, she had a whole nother dad. So I've got a grandpa I don't even fucking know. Never met all these cousins that look like us. We have these same traits. Because my grandma had an affair with some fucking 7 foot tall blonde marine guy around the after the World War II times, the grandpa that I thought was the grandpa, like, nearly took his ass out. But, like, this dude was crazy. And my mom, when she found this out, she let this piece of information devastate her and basically continue her whatever the fuck she did, drugs or something. She was fucked up for a long time. And then she became a nurse. That was her, you know, pivotal uh, period of taking back some sort of control or archetypical role in, in the life. And to be perfectly honest, it was just another place for her to first get fucked up on the drugs that she was able to get a hold of, which she did. She did. And then number two, um... Just become entitled to say, you know, she's like, I did this for you. Look, I was already fucking nearly out of school and on my own. And when I left that house of my mom's, I had a very difficult time any time ever even being around her. She made my marriage hell because she treated my wife like shit. She was horrible to her, you know, and I don't want to blame her. I'm not going to because there's no point in doing that. But if she didn't really have these traits and didn't act this way and I didn't, you know, have to work, work through it and figure out what in the fuck, you know, is up with my mom, then it wouldn't be as a, a thing to say. And I do have some witnesses to that. I think Red Feather could witness that. He probably still watches my shit, even though after... Feels like we're getting somewhere now. At least the targeted people community is, you know, 
some of these topics was very near on my heart. And although I didn't mean to fuck my foot up and not go on Halloween, my spirit maybe allowed that to happen because I sort of wanted to protest in a way against this fucking shit. And it's not Halloween, but it is. It's what they do amongst it all. I don't fucking celebrate no fucking Sam Hain holiday. I'm not a fucking pagan like that. Now, I do consider myself a natural wizard because I have these weird gifts, and that's just the way it's been for me my whole life. And I use this... calendar... And it, maybe it's just fucking sophisticated programming. I don't know. It's supposedly based on the Mayan calendar. But I'll tell you what. These fucking things here. Like this. This red solar dragon. This is exactly why. This is exactly why. Because that red fucking dragon's why. Like Bible type shit. Now me, myself, my birthday says that I'm this. I'll go to my birthday. Anyone that sees my birthday, you're not allowed to cast spells on me. I don't allow it. So don't do it. I can just say that. And be, be alright. I'm not going to live in fear at all. Not when I don't have to. And I don't think anyone needs to. So this is... If nothing else, this should be an exercise... In playing that shit forward. Now I don't identify. And my birthday being September 4th. So I'm supposedly a Virgo. Which is more like a sidereal Leo. Actually. Which I can kind of feel that. But if ever I needed to read something. That sounded like me. It was White Magnetic Wizard. I've been into magnets for a long time. I love fucking magnets. And then White Wizard. I actually am a White Wizard. Well, in a way, way or so. I had this experience in 2004 when that tsunami and earthquake in Indonesia went off. I had got a message from my higher self and it told me to pick these two other guys that I knew were like also these people that I knew from the high school group of people you you learn and grow up around and was to pick of the three top spheres of the Sephiroth each one of us each take one and open a channel to it so that we could better communicate and get those energies throughout our whole life if we needed to now and one picked black one picked gray so I I'm with white so I remain that channel. Blacks died. And he's done some real unsavory shit to myself and Gray. But nonetheless, it tells you right there. So, and another thing that's cool about this, I guess I'll, sh I'll showcase why I like it. Because if you want to be higher than a 3d human and you do unless you just don't right, let me go back now these are the waves now you see how my birthday starts at the beginning of the week I start like that that's this foot the one that I've got injured that allows me to stay home it's the beginning of manifestation from the earth putting out a, a spark Unto your body that you connect with your barefoot ass onto the earth. And it goes through your body just like it goes through this wave each day. So the second day is like, this is the challenge. The challenge is the lunar tone. And you can sort of see, and this is how you resolve it as a service in the electric tone. Now I can't go through all of these and tell you each fucking thing that happens. Because I haven't sophisticatedly learned all of it like that yet. But I know those first three steps on the week. And I know that if you go through the seven day weeks, according to the Anunnaki or whatever opposing spirit 
a lease-holding fucking monster alien demonic group is currently running this fucking planet, if you go by that calendar system, it will make you weak. And they do use the language like that. Specifically against you. And in fact, we shouldn't even be using language. That's another thing that I know for a fact. And it's only come up to be verified in listening to some of this stuff about the um, the Rudolf Steiner War, 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 Waldorf schools. Because when you insert language in this English language into your brain, it it jostles and throws a lot of your primary circuits into the left side unless you very specifically and slowly bring into the alphabet the imagery and such like is found in hieroglyphics. Now I know I went all over the goddamn place and I apologized, but I just wanted to share with y'all this um, idea behind there being some truth to what this Megan Megan uh, Walsh is saying because it's 1111 and it, it fucking it jives I feel it I feel it resonates as something that's true I know about the women suffering from that kind of narcissist and in fact I also know and suffered some of it myself and still kind of do because that's the thinking that never gets resolved because it never enters to the heart. The narcissists abort this path under all because they don't understand it. They don't have a way through the heart. Anyway, like, share, subscribe.